Okay, so what I want to talk to you guys about is how we set up a, uh, a force balance of, uh, on a control volume. And the example we're going to talk about right now is uh, when you have um, two rectangular parallel plates and the fluid motion between those plates. Uh, so a lot of times you see a drone like this where we have our lower plate at y is equal to zero and the plate above it at y is equal to h and in this case I'm showing a fully developed steady uh, flow where um, the, there's only one velocity in the uh, x direction and it is a function of y. So if we want to set up a control volume on this situation what we're going to do is uh, we got rectangular coordinates set up a box and uh, this box will have it's going to be delta x delta y so it's just a box of control volume that we pick in this location right here and it's a cube we'll just draw it in two dimensions here delta x and delta y and what happens is the pressure as you've seen written you have a pressure over here at x, then you have another pressure point pushing on this face at x plus delta x. All right, and then you have a shear stress down on this bottom face tau y x at y, and then you have one on this top plate tau y x at y plus delta y. And I've had a lot of questions about how how do I um, know the direction of these arrows? Why, how, why am I putting the pressure arrow this way, this one this way, this shear stress arrow going this way for this top plate, and this one going this way? And um, that's the main point of this video is I want to explain how, how uh, we set up these arrows so that you can do your force balance. <laughs> Alright, so now here's a three-dimensional cube we can use to talk about it. So this cube is basically uh, the same as this drawing right here. And what I have here is I've made uh, the unit normals, uh, the unit outward normals for each one of these services. So again, um, think about the flow again is moving through our control volume at this face and then coming out of this face. And so for our pressures, so for the two pressures, um, the pressures again, as I mentioned before, um, and using the uh, the Trusky uh, Yuan Katz textbook and how they've set it up, is the pressures are going to be acting opposite of the unit outward normal. So this pressure is going to have an arrow going into this face right here because it's opposite of this unit outward normal for this. Um, the surface area so then and therefore on the other side as well it's going to be acting opposite of this unit outward normal so it's going to be pointing both arrows are going to be pointing like this for the pressures so that's our pressures for our shear stresses which act on this face right here and this one right here um, if you remember in the drawing we have the shear stresses acting on this bottom face is pointing in this direction right here and on the top face is pointing into the other direction and so the reason why is because on this face right here, this unit outward normal coming off of this face is pointing in the negative y direction, as you see here from our coordinate system. So therefore, the shear stress is going to point on this face in the negative x direction, this way, right like that. All right, and then vice versa on the top face. This top face right here is a unit normal outward pointing in the positive y direction, so therefore the shear stress is going to point in the positive x direction back out here. And so that's how we get um, this uh, 2D kind of drawing of our different uh, surface forces on our control volume.